Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to jump into the topic of safety for this viral product, the VT Riddle Shot. So without uh, any further introduction, if you are new here, hey, my name is Mo. I'm a pharmacist, toxicologist, and safety assessor, and we talk about the safety of cosmetics, ingredients, and the science behind the, the cosmetic industry. So if that sounds interesting, please don't forget to subscribe and join this community. And now we will jump into the video. What is this product, the VT Riddle Shot? It's a Korean uh, product that promised to enhance the penetration of your skincare ingredients so they can give you technically a better result. And it does this by using micro needles and it went viral on TikTok because it was called as micro needle in a bottle. It uses a micro type of needles that are derived from marine sponge and they are called marine sponge specules. And they are very small needle shaped like uh, 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 structure that are able to technically help the increase the penetration of your skincare ingredients. Those micro needles are made of silica or silicon dioxide. They are very uh, hard to break down and they are very resistant and hard as a structure. And this product contains a specific amounts of those uh, micro needles that will help to increase the penetration and technically the absorption of your active ingredients when you apply it before the uh, cosmetics or before your skincare routine. Uh, it has different uh, percentage or strength uh, like the 50, 100, 300 and 700 and the brand promised of increased of penetration of active ingredients of more than 400%. Now I want to answer the question, do they work? So there is a, a small amount of data regarding this. It's not a new delivery system. It's considered a delivery system because it uh, enhance or facilitate the skin absorption of active ingredients. It's not new, it's been used for a while and been studied for a while, specifically for delivering uh, therapeutic peptides delivering something that has a high molecular weight and has a low chance of penetrating the skin and the studies that were done there are small amount of studies mostly were done on like hyaluronic acid peptides etc uh, some of them were done in vivo some of them were done on uh, animals some of them were done in ex vivo which means uh, skin taken out from animals or human donors and testing the penetration enhancement of those uh, uh, micro needles. And those studies mainly focus on the efficacy and short uh, term safety concerns. And they did not have the time or the facility to investigate the long term safety of those uh, type of delivery systems. In general, they are uh, technically will work to enhance the penetration of those ingredients but the next question is how do those micro needles will help increase the penetration so there are two type of ideas of how those uh, micro needles will help the penetration of active ingredients into your skin one is by literally doing a microscopic level uh, physical exfoliation because they have very weird structure as you can see here they can uh, uh, exfoliate or reduce the thickness of the skin barrier a little bit while you apply the product on your skin this is the first uh, theory or the first idea of the mechanism of action of those micro needles the second one is supposedly by actually puncturing the skin barrier uh, by uh, creating uh, micro tunnels or micro channels that allow those active ingredients to penetrate and because they have very needle-like and sharp edges they can actually do that and some studies I will show you the picture later uh, used um, uh, electronic microscope or electron microscope to see those uh, actual uh, specules uh, let's say jammed into the skin and you can see them uh, penetrating the uh, skin barrier. From the mechanism of action, I want to jump to the big question about the risk, which is something that I do for a living regarding chemicals, cosmetics, and everything in between. Are they risky or are they safe? So we want to break it down really slowly. The mechanism of action, the first type of mechanism of action, which is the uh, microscopic physical exfoliation, is something that can give the consumer a lot of freedom. 
And here, here uh, how I think about it. When you give the consumer a lot of freedom of how to use a product, the risk of misuse will be increased significantly. So let's compare a few products to explain this concept a little bit more. If I want to compare the ordinary peeling solution, the one uh, that is based on chemical exfoliants, and the second one will be St. Ives Apricot Scrub, and the third one, the VT uh, um, Riedel Shot, the risk with those products is a little bit different because the chemical exfoliant, the brands did their best to communicate how to use this product more effectively by using it for 10 minutes and telling the consumer, okay, uh, you have 10 minutes to use. Uh, if you do use it more, there are a lot of risk. And although the brand tried to communicate all of that, some, as you know, from TikTok, use the product, uh, uh, the peeling solution after doing microneedling and do some crazy stuff, misuse the product and they have the consequences. But they, the consumer cannot have a, an extra freedom to make this product work more. The concentration are there, the pH are there, the consumer cannot change that. But when it comes to physical exfoliant, I'm not against physical exfoliant, but the risk with them are a little bit higher for misuse. And when you are misusing a product, the risk for getting undesirable effect or side effects are increased. So it's all about probability. So for, uh, let's say, uh, St. Ives, because the consumer has the ability to uh, change the pressure or how he apply or she apply the product, they can increase the efficacy of the product by uh, using it for a longer time, also applying more pressure, be more aggressive, and by that, uh, increasing the risk of side effects. Same thing because the supposedly uh, uh, microscopic physical exfoliation for the VT Riedel shot is the same thing. The consumer can apply more pressure, can apply something that can lead to an increased risk. Actually, on that same point that I am explaining of increased pressure, there is one study that I found that was written on LinkedIn. I couldn't track down the actual paper, but so take it with a grain of salt. Every paper that I went through researching this topic will be in the description. So it was uh, by a um, an individual that specifically is talking about this topic a lot, and it's based, I think, in China. The study was done on animals, uh, on rats specifically, and they showed that th those type of delivery system, the uh, marine sponge specules, is able to uh, penetrate the skin and actually penetrate the, the epidermis or the skin barrier, but they were not able to reach the dermis. This is something that is, uh, uh, I would consider it as a relief because we, you don't want foreign object in your dermis. I will explain the reason later for the second type of risk. Uh, and they mentioned specifically that, unfortunately, they think that the uh, depth of penetration of those micro needles are related to the pressure applied when applying those uh, type of formulation. So this leaves the doors open for, again, misuse by the consumer, too much pressure, too much penetration, increased risk. The, uh, the second point that I want to mention regarding the risk is the foreign body reaction. A foreign body reaction is your body's reaction to a foreign body. When a, let's say, something that is uh, foreign from your body or something that is not supposed to be in that location exists in that location or exists in that tissue, so the body does everything it can to isolate and neutralize this type of threat. And they, the body does that in soft tissue by creating this small like um, envelope around this uh, object and create kind of like, uh, I would describe it like an underskin pimple, that feeling of there is something, there is a, a hard uh, structure under the skin. And that is actually a risk that is not inv investigated in the current data because most of the uh, studies that I went through check this delivery system for a few months or a couple of weeks. And those type of reaction, the foreign body reaction takes years to show up. And we don't know if this actually will happen after using the product for a couple of years, few years, five years. We don't know, we don't have the data. Is it going to happen? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But it is a risk, it's a probability that it could happen because 
technically and uh, scientifically it is possible, we are introducing foreign bodies to penetrate our skin barrier. And with different type of pressure, we can push it to the dermis. So this is the second point that I want to mention. Lastly, in the same paper that I told you that I found on LinkedIn, please take it with a grain of salt. They noticed actually the, um, the effect of those uh, sponge uh, specules on the skin barrier was actually reducing the thickness of the epidermis. On this study, again, on animals, it can be a different translation for humans, but it gives us some type of idea. So the, uh, the, uh, the skin barrier got actually reduced. Uh, the thickness of the skin barrier actually reduced and the dermal thickness between the control and the two treatment group did not increase. But when they noticed the increase, uh, they related to the weight of animal because the, uh, the study uh, lasted for more than 50 days so the animals had time to grow and when animals grow every type of tissue will increase one of them is the dermal uh, tissue and that they, uh, they related the increase of this uh, uh, dermal tissue to the uh, uh, growth not to the treatment so the um, let's say uh, claims around increasing collagen or increasing dermal thickness is a little bit of a mixed bag. So my final thoughts and my final opinion. First, you need to understand that increasing penetration of skincare ingredient is not going to give you better result. It's not uh, one equal one. It's a very complicated topic that needs a lot of explanation. Delivering more active ingredients to the dermal uh, part of your skin is not gonna give you better result out of, uh, out of a sudden, like you will, you deliver more mean better result. It doesn't work like this all the time. It might work for some active, for other it might not. Also, increasing the penetration will mean increasing uh, the risk of having undesirable effect. Cosmetic products, some of them are formulated to stay on the skin like moisturizer to provide the increased hydration by supporting the skin barrier. Other uh, type of ingredients are formulated in a very gentle way with other delivery system that we know more information about to penetrate the skin in a very gentle way with reduced side effects like encapsulation, liposome, nanosomes, and many type of other delivery system. So what I believe is this type of delivery system, which is not new, but we don't have about a lot of data about it, is not better or will not provide something extra than the current delivery system that we have. We have delivery system that provide a lot of good penetration with reduced risk of irritation of a very active ingredients that are usually without those delivery system can cause a lot of irritation. But thanks to those delivery system that we know like encapsulation, they are more gentle. So the, this is the idea of penetration doesn't mean better result all the time. The uh, third point is that you need to help a product to penetrate your skin more if it is designed to be or to exist in that type of a tissue. If a product is supposed or formulated to stay on the top of the skin, pushing it down the skin increases the risk of undesired effect and a lot of unwanted effect that I can talk about later if you want in another video. So please be careful of that. The fourth point is that is it going to give you a, a better result immediately? I don't know. The brand claim 400% increase, increase of penetration, but I don't know if this will translate to actually happening to you and getting more result, for more uh, like more than four times the result that I usually uh, have. Lastly, are you going to have the uh, risk that I mentioned in the video? I don't know. They are possibility, the, the probability of you getting those depends on your luck because we don't have the data about it. Technically, they could happen. Technically, foreign body reaction could happen. Technically, disrupted barrier could happen. Technically, uh, overuse and increased risk of undesired effect could happen. But we don't have the actual uh, studies that replicate real-time, uh, real-life usage of those products to give us, okay, this is the risk of you using this product and getting this undesired effect. So this is my video, guys. I hope I answered the question in a balanced way. This is not based to make you afraid of this product. If you are using this product and you are seeing great result, please keep using it. But the risk is that I explained is there and it could happen. 
and it could not happen. It depends on the safety data that the brand has and how you are using the product and your unique skin reaction. So as always, stay safe and I see you in the next one. Bye.